Hi, welcome to Far Cry 4. We are doing Cultural Exchange, which is a story mission for Sabal. This follows on from the Balance of Power mission. It's the first time I've really picked up the story since cleaning out the southern Kirat, Kirat of bell towers and outposts, so I figured it was about time I plotted on. Anyway, Sabat is Sabal is in a skit. Was that intel from the camp worth it? Did you even read it? Go to the monastery. Educate yourself, Archie. A uh, skit, in case you don't know, is a uh, bad mood. He's in a frenzy. He's mad at me. Uh, it's a phrase I use from school that I just kind of has been in my lexicon ever since. Now, uh, I cut out the flying here because it didn't seem relevant. And I thought I got hit there, but it was probably just the blade chopping into my head. So, no big deal. I haven't sped this up uh, because I thought, well, it's the monastery, you might want to look at it. So, uh, the approach, kind of interesting, it's kind of a pretty place. I'd been here before and farmed it for blue flowers, but figured I was going to get sent back here at some point. All those locations seem to be relevant to the story. Um, so, yeah, anyway, in the monastery, here we are. Ah, the son of the great Mohan. Sabal tells me you're ready to learn what inspired your father. Banashur, god of gods, sang the world into existence. For that, we give him thanks. We thank the gods for giving us life. Please, take an offering basket. Yes, indeed. I am the son of the great Mohan Gale. This is a bit weird. Pick, it, pick up the offering bowl, and then he comes and stands next to me. And it tells me to go and do the uh, Chaljamar pilgrimage, but it doesn't really say how or why or give any markers, just that big sort of yellow box. Um, and you can't get that way. So it is off to the right. I tend to always go left first. I don't know why. Anyway, here we are. Uh, this is a karma event, I guess. Um, if you haven't explored karma yet, this is kind of what explains it to you. And it gives really weird amounts of karma for doing stuff, but it gives a lot too. Like for lighting that, 52. That seems like a strange amount of karma points for an award. 50, I could understand. 175, yes. 52? Weird. Anyway, lit a candle. Uh, spun a bell. Manny wheel thing. I, I want the knife. And mana level 5. That's a karma level 5. That's quite good. Uh, one, only half a level to go until I can unlock the shredder. And I'll be back in happy territory. I think there's 104 for chucking some phosphorus onto that. 157, see? Weird. And then lighting some incense. Life is tenuous and fleeting as a wisp of sweet-smelling smoke. The incense represents our mortality. Does it now? Okay, that's, that's good to know. Uh, now to return to Raju. Okay, Raju. Ooh, sorry about that beeping. That is my Far Cry app that I've just downloaded. Um, and I've shot up to arena rank level 11 in a couple of hours, which is quite nice. So I'm going to unlock the Bushman next. Anyway, the uh, attack is coming here. Uh, and there's a little letter. I'm kind of compelled to read them all. Uh, Dami was never one of our disciples. I guess that's good to know. Anyway, out here, uh, you can see the reinforcements bar coming down now. I noticed this when I was cutting the video. I didn't notice it at the beginning, so I'm there, like, freaking out, like, when are they coming, when are they coming? So I thought I'd mine the approach a little bit. That seemed to be, like, a good tactic. Uh, I didn't really know where they'd be going. It turns out they go left, right, and forward. There's three points that they try to plant bombs. And it's a little bit ironic, as you'll see, because they're planting bombs and I'm taking them out with explosives where they're planting bombs. And it's like, well, I mean, technically, I guess I'm actually blowing stuff up. But there goes the first mine, a triple kill. Hurrah! Uh, and there is the detritus. Uh, there's a dude there who I comprehensively miss. Quite why I switched weapon here, I don't know. I should have just chucked another grenade at him. And then uh, I freak out a bit because I'm like, oh god, what? I haven't got anything I can use. So I pull out the sniper rifle and he ducks and I miss. Oh no. I just miss because I panic fire. He ducks and I miss. And then someone's shooting me in the back and I figure I have to take him out. So I get him pretty sloppily and then turn around and there's like three guys running in this way or two to make up three in total. They go down pretty quickly. And then you'll see that timers appear where they're setting bombs. So you basically have to race between these timers and take stuff out. Um, it's kind of a fun mission. I, I don't mind a, a capture the flag, not capture the flag, but sort of king of the hill type affair. Uh, it's panic fire. I'm really, really bad with stuff with only a couple of uh, rounds, shells, I guess, for a shotgun. I'm like, oh god, fire, fire, now I'm going to spend an hour reloading. Oh, what's going on? 
Uh, but got him. The elephant gun is stupidly overpowered, so as long as you're shooting in roughly the right direction, you're in good shape. Um, there's another multi-kill, but it also set off the ammo uh, dump, which is not ideal. And there's a helling chopter coming in. Uh, I couldn't really decide what to do about that. I figured the grenade launcher, but then shot over. And then I'm like, well, actually, if I shoot there, surely I'm just going to be taking out the civilians. But didn't lose any karma for killing civilians, so presumably they survived. I don't know. Felt a bit bad, but given that they weren't dying. Um, up here... This is the moment I should have stopped because I've got plenty of time and just chucked a couple of grenades at the helicopter, but instead it turns around and disappears. The dude there was a dude there. He's now dead. Um, and now there's a guy over to there. He's coming up. And then there's a guy, I think, heading to the left to back to the statue. And you'll see on the top left it says where they're going. So enemy setting a bomb at the shrine. So that's straight ahead. And this zip line I didn't notice. I thought I was going to fall and die, or I'd activated the wingsuit and then I clipped on, so I was quite happy about that. Uh, but you'll see here, like this guy's setting a bomb here, um, and I missed with the grenade. And I'm technically just blowing the place up worse than he would with these grenades, but mm, I'll take it. And it begs the question that if I can chuck grenades in there, massive explosives, and it doesn't do any damage, why are we that worried about a bomb? But let's not take it too literally. It's just a bit of fun. Uh, there's a guy up at the monastery door as well, but I'm not too fussed about him. I figured the mines would probably run out, so I wanted to put some C4 up here because there's some guys and some cars, and I figured it was an easy multi-kill. So, skaboosh, skaboosh. Uh, there we go, four kills there. And I think that's pretty much the end of them. All we've got now are some people left in uh, the area. I put one more C4 up there just in case. Uh, that guy, I kind of missed. And there's a guy, what do we got, like 45 seconds left on the counter over there. So I figured I had time to take this guy, even though I miss a lot. Um, but given that I'm there, rather than running all the way up and heading back again, it seemed to make sense. And now there are two guys, but there's one at 30 seconds that's starting to flash red a little bit, so I figured I'd better get that. And another spectacular miss with the shotgun. But I thought, well, you know, he's either going to chase me and I can take him out when he gets there, or he'll go off and do his thing and I'll have a bit of time to deal with him. And sure enough, this guy 20 seconds, but I'm fine. I've got uh, two shells chambered, and so that's not going to be too much trouble. And someone dealt with the guy at the door. Um, there are some guards around, so it looks like they'll kill occasionally. And that wingsuit prompt, ugh. Very nearly clicked it, but decided against it at the last minute, based on the uh, doll mission from earlier, where I wingsuited headfirst into a tree and died, which wasn't much fun. Anyway, uh, that guy, one in the back, and he is down, and I think that's all of them. So yeah, return to Raju. Okay, Raju, don't worry, we're coming. We're coming at high speed. You Hi, Raju. saved us. You are your father's son, Ashe. Thank you, Ashe. Thank you. That's okay, Raju. That's a cultural exchange complete. And then a meter comes in with a meter maid. Lovely Rita, meter maid. Um, comes in here, there's a thing that pops up about karma, so presumably if you're doing this as part of the story, uh, this is more or less the first time you've encountered karma, but obviously I've been running around all over the map, and so I've dealt with it quite a lot. Now these two missions have popped up. The syringe mission is really weird, I did that first, that's going to lead us up the uh, Himalayas, where we're going to need oxygen masks, and there's a meter. I will see the importance of good intel. If you hadn't secured that map, we never would have stopped this in time. Good work, Ajay. Thanks, Amita. I always wanted your approval, and now I feel better. There's a Longinus quest as well. Um, so that unlocks a skill as well. I can't remember which one. But we've got those two things down at the bottom, and I figured I would go and investigate them. The syringe quest is weird, though. I mean, I'll talk about it more during the thing, but it's like, you've got to go and get a syringe, and then you don't actually have a syringe. And she's like, hang on to it. Make the most of it. Tell people about it when you have done. And I'm like, okay, that's why, okay. Sure, honey, sure. But you'll see. Anyway, uh, on the left is uh, killing dolls for a hunting control mission. That was kind of fun. Um, grenading dogs. And on the right is the syringe mission I mentioned earlier, where we go up into the Himalayas and meet snow leopards, uh, for at least for me, for the first time. Um, I've done a bit of searching, and it seems as soon as you hit the North Island, you'll meet lots of snow leopards. Uh, but you will see here. Anyway, I will see you in the next mission. Lose a love, bye!